Pierre Farago, that's quite a headline, a downgrade to NVIDIA. Just tell me, what are you seeing in the company? Is it what the company's doing or what the stock price is doing that's led to this downgrade? Yeah, it's a great question, John. What we've been doing over the last 18 months following uh, NVIDIA and being very early in, uh, you know, seeing this AI inflection is that we've been comparing what's happening for NVIDIA, what expectations are on NVIDIA, with what the supply chain of NVIDIA is lining up in terms of increasing capacity for the for, for, for this uh, accelerating AI uh, AI infrastructure deployments, and for 18 months we've always seen expectations for NVIDIA being below what the supply chain was planning. So every quarter we said they are going to beat because they are lining up more capacity than what expectations uh, imply today. And as we, we did that check in the last uh, few weeks, we realized um, that now when you listen to, when you look at expectations for NVIDIA for 2025, with like data center revenues up like 50% or so, it actually lines up pretty well with what memory manufacturers are telling us about their capacity plans for HBM. It lines up pretty well with what TSMC is telling us about capacity they're lining up for cores. And so we came to the conclusion that for NVIDIA to beat expectations again, we would need to see first the supply chain increasing further their capacity planning. And we felt that was a good time for us to actually signal to investors, to our clients, well, you know, you have to be careful because this business has grown like 10x uh, over like the, the last couple of years, like the data center AI business of uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of NVIDIA. And at some point, you know, it's going to take a breath, or it's going to slow, it's going to, um, to, to, to stick where it is. And seeing expectations for NVIDIA meeting what the supply chain is anticipating felt like a good point in time um, to, 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 to grow more cautious about the stock. And then valuation is relatively secondary. I think the valuation of NVIDIA is still uh, is still reasonable, but it's rich enough to suffer if uh, NVIDIA disappoints not by missing expectations, but by not beating them.